Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm making a video about makeup artists must haves. Well, they're not must haves, but they are quite a bargain. And I'd just like to share with you guys the things that I have found in private, uh, which I feel are a bargain and they work just as good as something high end. So I'm not a professional makeup artist, but I have a rough idea of the kind of things a person would have in their kit. But even if you are an Instagrammer, a YouTuber, these things will definitely come in handy for you as well. So it's all makeup artists in general. I'm gonna first of all start off by letting you know I did try out Primark makeup and I was not disappointed. So I will leave my um, video where I try out Primark makeup um, at the end of this video because I'd really like you guys to see this one first. So let's get into it. I mentioned some makeup but majority of this are things that you would have in your kit or things that you would use as an Instagrammer or a YouTuber um, just to create your looks or when you have a client kind of things you'd use you would have in your kit so i'm going to start off by the oh it's called brow sketch i always called it the skinny brow pencil unless they've changed their name so this one is two pounds it's a slight slight difference in quantity from the anastasia beverly hills brow pencil uh, i have never used that but i've seen people compare this to it and I've tried Benefit um, brow pencil, the skinny one that's that's like which has a tip like this and I've preferred this one and I'm not saying the Benefit one is not good because it is but I always reach for this one and this is only two pounds guys I always stock up with these they're really difficult to get because people are always buying these because they are that good and they do last all day they they don't smudge unless of course you're going to do that but they they don't they don't melt off or whatever so this is only two pounds i'm in the shade dark brown and that's what on my brows right now so i do use this in the video that i have told you about but i had already used this from way before so i love this pencil and if you're a makeup artist i would say buy loads of the the high-end ones are like 20 pounds and this is two pounds so you can get 10 of these for the same price of one of them so that's something i would recommend i would also recommend their foundation but that does have spf so um if you're gonna do bridal makeup i wouldn't recommend that because it might have flashbacks but i have used it for my instagram pictures and it looks great. Um, a primer water, I absolutely love. I know recently I have said that I don't really like to use primers anymore. I'm not bashing any primers that I've tried out because I am happy with them, but um, I usually don't see the point in. But this is great for prepping the skin. It hydrates your face, so it's great it's for after you wipe their wipe your client's face down or when after you've just moisturized after you've just washed your face i would put this on and um i also use it as a setting powder i wouldn't say it works great as a setting powder because it could be down to my imagination but i just do it i like it um because my urban decay usually melts my face and it runs down um i would compare this to um mac what is that called the setting spray max mac fix plus sorry and it smells great i would just use this if i had clients i would use this definitely so um i would keep some of these at home because this is also only two pounds and the smashbox one i would say it's around between 20 and 30 pounds correct me if i'm wrong but that's how primers that's how much primers go in the high end side and they also go way up but this i mean i've never tried the smashbox primerizer but this looks exactly like it anyway but i'm not disappointed in this whatsoever so i'm gonna 
mention that. Anyway, so I said you would wipe your face up. So if you obviously have a client, you would use makeup wipes just to clean up their face of any residue. So one good makeup wipe that I have, I haven't tried any of the others, but this one is the tea tree one. It's called, it's oil good. And this is two packs for a pound. Wait. Yeah, it's two packs for a pound and it has 25 wipes in it. And my simple ones, when they're on offer, they go down to 150. I do, majority of the time, use simple wipes to take my makeup off. It just takes everything off really fast and I only use one wipe. But I really like this. This is great for cleaning up the face when you have a fresh face to put makeup on and you have an applied moisturizer, I would use this because tea tree oil also helps control blemishes and um, what I want to say antibacterial, I don't know but it does, it's great for spots and things so it's great for oil control even though it is an oil itself but tea tree oil is great for oil control so you know one pound for 50 wipes 25 in each pack you know you can't go wrong um i would try if you want to i would try out the other wipes as well and see how it goes because different types of products do work for different types of skin tones but i do have psoriasis on my skin so i do have dry areas but i also have an oily nose area but i do also have psoriasis on my nose and this just helps a lot so you know i would recommend it for combination skin or dry skin or oily skin it just balances everything out on your skin next up i'm going to mention three of primark's brushes first up is the hd kabuki brush i use this to blend out my concealer so i use it under my eye it fits right in so i use it over my eyes where when i apply concealer when i apply primer i don't use this brush i because i use the p louise primer and i find another brush works good for it but when i'm applying concealer i do use this one i blend it out here i blend it out here and for the nose i use something else but um, we're talking about primer today so this is a must-have um before this, I wasn't a fan of using brushes on the face for foundation and concealer. I would prefer a beauty blender, but I prefer these Primark brushes over the beauty blender now. So, yeah. And um, also, I have this one. My one is Crusty Dusty. And this is the 102 Foundation Blending Brush, and it looks like this. And this just leaves no streaks on the face and it easily distributes the foundation all over your face and it's so soft and easy to clean and because normally cheap brushes you would find that they are quite rough and scratchy feeling and primer brushes don't do that and um what i also love is that it doesn't soak up too much product which is a must because I, I i find myself not using too much foundation when i use this brush i want to say these brushes are three pounds each i also have this one if this is something you'd like to try out but um i'm not going to say it's bad but it's not something i would recommend so this is very similar to the nars brush so you know you might want to try this out you will see me use this in my other video which i will at the end so you know yeah i don't know if they still sell this but i did recently look for this and i can't couldn't find it and i bought another one which was this one so this one has two concealer type brushes at the end i haven't tried it for concealer so i wouldn't recommend it for concealer because i don't know but the reason why i buy these primer because they're quite flat i've never cut a crease with them which i should try really but they are quite flat and stiff and I find that they pick up eyeshadow really well and they deposit it very well. So when you're looking at shimmer eyeshadows, mainly Colourpop eyeshadows, usually you'd need to pick them up with your finger and put it on. But this does quite a good job as well. And this is, this doesn't have a name, it just says PS on it. 
and yeah both of them just say ps i forgot how much even though i bought this more recently i forgot how much i bought this for but i know definitely i bought this one for one pound fifty and if i had found found more of these when i went in to buy it um i would definitely stock up on these so yeah so makeup sponges i don't really particularly use makeup sponges but they all seem they all seem the same to me. These are a pound. You can also get makeup sponges from Poundland, but if you're at Primark and you're stocking up, so these were a pound for twenty. So you might want to get these and then get. Primark also have um, blending sponges, but I've never ever tried them, so I wouldn't know. So Primark have a powder puff as well, and it's pretty good. Um, I would recommend it so i can't find it for the life of me so you're just gonna have to take my word for it but they anyway moving on to makeup brush cleansers so i got these for two pounds and it works just as good as my 13 pounds mac brush cleanser so this was two pounds and this is the makeup brush cleaning spray this is great for spot cleaning so when you're when you have if you're a makeup artist and you have a busy day you've got lots of clients to see you know it's great to have in your bag so you can clean up brushes as you go along if you need a brush and you don't have multiple of them or you've used them all up you know i would keep this in my makeup kit yeah and i obviously when you're uh makeup artists on social media as well when you're constantly doing looks you don't feel like washing your brushes this is great you just spray it on your brush you, you swirl it around on a towel or piece of paper uh, paper towel i would i would say just towel even for my mac one i would use a towel i'll keep a separate towel just to spot clean and your brushes dry instantly so um you got nothing to worry about um, they're not going to stay wet they do dry instantly so i i absolutely love this and it's almost finishing and i hope i hope 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 primer never ever discontinue this because this is a lifesaver because there has been days where i haven't washed my brushes and i needed them and i've used them um the next thing i'm going to show you is great for powder brushes that you've used on powder but you won't be able to use it on foundation so this one is great for brushes that have cream and liquid products on them as well so you can clean them off and i have used it and i love it i prefer it over my mac one this one is also two pound and it's a brush cleansing sponge cleaning sponge so this is like um what they have in america called the color switch so this is primark's own version of it and what you do is, you do is just get your brush and you swirl it up around and just use it for another shadow it's not gonna mix with any other shadows at all all the shadows that were on this will come off on this and it's just a good way of like using the same brush over and over again without having to wash it or clean it or wet it you know yeah so also Primark do the Garnier micellar water those that love doing cut creases or just to also prep your clients faces you can use the micellar water and they sell this small bottle for 90p so obviously you can't carry the big one around with you well you can if you want to but you would prefer to carry the smaller one around with you so for 90p i would get these to keep in my makeup bag and perhaps get a bigger one so you can refill this so that way because most most of the time travel size ones don't work out cheaper than the bigger ones of any product that you do get so this is just a travel size one so that would be great to take along with you on traveling talking of traveling i got this makeup bag for 10 pounds they usually retail for about 20 pounds i want i want to say on amazon but it's it is very very sturdy and it comes with compartments and i bought this last year and they had a bigger size a very very massive big size for 20 pounds so i'm hoping they bring this kind of stuff out more so you know we can all have a go at them because i, I it was hard i saw it in one of the primax and i went 
the next week and it was all gone so they go really fast so if you see them grab it because these are very very sturdy and they will protect your makeup very well you know these are really and you can take them out so you can make bigger spaces and this was only 10 pounds guys i mean i did buy the sephora bag for 40 something pounds so this one is 10 pounds and it's the same size and um it has compartments so you don't need to put in bags so your powders and glass bottles will stay safe i mean for a pro makeup artist i would say this is quite small but they did have a bigger one which will be perfect because it comes with a carry strap as well so you know and and a handle which is great to carry around so anyway they do have one this year which i would prefer the other the one that i've just showed you i would prefer a bigger size in that one as a makeup artist because it is more stronger but i did get something just to show you guys so okay i will be giving that one back because i don't really need these bags unless i'm going on holiday and i don't want to take something big that's why i bought the smaller one also the little the bigger one wasn't available when i was buying the smaller one the bigger version of the small one that i bought but um if i was a real makeup artist i would um prefer the bigger one so i bought this one for 20 pounds so this is what it looks like on the inside you can open it up on both sides so this is how the the trays are and this is how big they are and you get one two and then a big one big hollow one and then three four so you get four small trays and a big hollow one um and yeah um i don't feel i haven't put things in this i have put up things in the other one because that was for my use this one i did get just to show you guys, I am going to return this, but um, I feel like this one won't be as sturdy as the other one, but it's still something useful to have. It has little buckles on the, both the sides and it has um, a little pocket here as well. Um, I do feel like last year's one was better i do love the handle on this year's one though last year's one didn't have this plasticky handle which has quite a good grip on it and it does have a belt last year's one did have a belt as well so i would have preferred if they were going to improve it i would have preferred they had a little rubber thing that they have on belts so you can put it around your shoulder with comfort but yeah i'm just going to show you my one again so this is what my one looks like and they did have a bigger one so as you can see this one was 10 pounds i did put my makeup in it but i just never use it but i just tested it out and i love it also this one has a little um brush holding compartment on the side and a pocket and yeah they had a bigger one for 20 pounds which was quite big so probably like this big from here to here it was big and it had a little belt and i really wanted to get the other one but i didn't see myself using it and also they ran out of stock because i did want to buy it to show you guys last but not least i'm going to show you guys something else that you can consider buying at Primark for your course cotton pads and cotton wools these are the pointed ones so they are more precise when you are cutting your crease so these pads are 90p and you get 100 whereas in super drugs um i want to say it's 150 or two pounds or even three pound i'm not too sure but they're definitely not 90p in super drugs and this one is for 80 you get 80 pence so um was that 10 p each which is not the cheapest but you're at primark you're buying stuff 
you buy it. So guys, this is the end of this video. I'm going to link my makeup, primer testing makeup video up here. No, is it? Okay. Down here. And make sure to subscribe to my channel up here. And with that being said, guys, have a lovely day or night whenever you're watching this. And yeah, bye for now.